welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. Today's tutorial is very important. Why? Because uh, it is going to discuss about the reclassification of a field that is already existing in your attribute table of ArcGIS. And let me tell you that uh, the whole tutorial will be accomplished using Python scripting instead of using toolbox tools that is default in your ArcGIS. So each and every part of this video is extremely useful and imperative to your understanding. Therefore, don't miss any portion of this video. Rather, stay connected with me till the end of this video. So, without further delay, let's just jump into our tutorial. Okay, before getting started, let me just walk you through the interface. I have with me the river system going through the district called Shunamguns. And for a scripting purpose, today, one new addition that I have brought to my tutorial is using Jupyter Notebook. Let me just show you what is this. Yeah, this is a product of Anaconda and it's very handy and very familiar for coder, programmer, as well as for other professionals or statisticians, etc. So I'll be using this console for my uh, coding purpose. I mean, all of my code I will be uh, writing here and then copying from there to uh, the uh, Python or window or uh, pre-logic code of ArcGIS. So to do so, first of all, we need to just open up the attribute table and for accomplishing this task, I have to create a new field. Remember, I had admonished you in my previous uh, video that while creating a new field in attribute table, you must have turned off your editor tool. So my editor tool is already turned off, so I have no hassle, I guess. So add a create, create a field. Let's just name it reclass. Reclass. The type must have been must be text or integer because we are going to insert some words that is categorized in integer type in Python. So let's see. There is a new field called reclass has been already attached or created in my attribute table. Now. The first and foremost thing that I should consider while reclassifying the uh, river system going through Shunamguns is the parameters or criteria based on which I should uh, think of reclassifying. There are several criteria or parameters out there, however, for this tutorial purpose, I have taken one and that is nothing but shape length. Based on shape length, the whole river system are going to be classified. And the classification words, uh, I mean, sounds like a tiny, uh, small, medium, large, and giant based on their uh, shape length. So, one thing that I would remind you as a trick uh, while uh, coding your script, I'm writing your script that instead of manually writing uh, the fill that you are going to put in your uh, coding, uh, you should just copy. So, I'm considering shapeland as my parameter and it's going to be the variable go to the properties and copy it so it will help me avoid the misspell might have been happened in coding so let's just go to the 
a Jupyter notebook and all the process uh, will be done using a function and a function starts with a keyword called def and it's followed by the name of the function our name should be reclass let's just call it re sorry class and followed by the variable of the function our variable is the copied one i mean if length here now i'm going to use uh, the conditional under this function so if bracket is third just paste getter then or equal the list value what is the list value here this one 0, 0.00 something like that 0 0.00381 and okay once again let's just see the max value 20 so my range should be between uh, the list value and the max value so let's just put here the list value 381 and add n and one second best shift length and here zero point five i just customize my ring here return the list uh, value would be tiny river okay now it's followed by another keyword called elif elif is another expression it's the abbreviation or short form of else if it allows us to check multiple expression so elif five and it's a bracket paste length get it or equal 0 0.5 and one second paste get it then sorry less than uh, one okay put the column return return let's just call the range of river is small a bit larger than tiny river now another relief let's just add in our comment bracket copy it Gather than or equal one and copy one second less than five. Okay, call written a bit larger word suits uh, with. Um, let's call it medium medium river now one second elif comes off test it get at the equal five and paste it less than ten put the comma a color now return value call it mm, large river so we are done uh, our ranging I mean from tiny to large now I'm going to the optional uh, expression called else else is very common and it's 
frequently used at the end of a function as a optional expression. Optional expression return giant or very large. I'm just using this fancy word instead of very large. You mean it very large, but I am writing it giant. I like that that word. That's right. Okay. Uh, let me just explain a bit uh, larger here. Uh, when uh, else exactly is being uh, is executed? Else is executed when and only when all of the above. Uh, I mean expression are not executed. I mean when all these fail to come up with any result then else comes up and it gets us a result. So uh, it seems that I'm done with the coding just before uh, closing up uh, let's just check mistakenly whether I have put or uh, left any mistake there. So this is the keyword, the function name and the parameters, shift length. It seems like that uh, I have done all okay. No error has been found or detected. So now let's just copy it and paste in our expected window. Go to the reclass and fill calculator from fill calculator from PV script to Python. Just uh, select the show code block and paste here. Okay. Now look at this reclass. Here is the uh, point that you should call upon the function name and Within the function name, you must have put the variable, I mean field name, based on it, you are going to reclassify. Here, the name of our function is re reclass. Instead of writing manually to avoid the misspell, I just copy it and paste it here. And the variable, I mean field name, chief length, just drag here and close the bracket. All attempts, all good. Uh, okay, now we are all set to get our result. Just one click away. Click here and okay. Look at this. Our function has already been executed. Let's just zoom it and compare it with the value that uh, is in shape length okay look at this the value list value 0 0.000381 it's the list value corresponding to this value there is a reclassed I mean word called tiny so tiny river and then a small river started from 0 0.53 and so on from medium 1.0 okay and till large our elif command has been executed after that there is no execution of elif only execution we we, we have found that else else started working from right here so we are all done with our coding now let's just show you how this thing can be very useful while leveling or data analyzing so let's just go to the properties i'm sorry that my computer okay uh, yes I have already I mean here expression and call the field reclass okay BB script either VB script or Python all are okay okay apply okay 
and zoom it okay carefully look at this each river has been categorized either tiny medium uh, large uh, small or uh, I mean the giant or very large one so it's very handy very useful to uh, just recognize which riverside I mean which river or branch of river or stream is uh, very large medium small tiny or giant so that's how we can uh, take the advantage of Python scripting and reclassification that's all for the time being I hope you guys have liked my video if you had please do subscribe to my channel I will come up with another new video till then bye bye Allah Hafiz Assalamu alaikum